bait chase. How about that? First catch of the morning. Not a big guy, but we're gonna catch multiples of his moms and cousins and aunts. Tackle Warehouse Pro here, Mark Menendez with you on Lake X in my part of the world here in Western Kentucky. And we're gonna have some fun today. I don't get to do this on tour, but I can do it for fun. And we're gonna be throwing the donkey rig for a while this morning. Two Strike King Z2s on a sliding rig. We're gonna see if we can't catch two at a time sometime today. It's a great postponed way to fish. A lot of fun, particularly for folks that don't have a lot of experience. It's visual, it's just like top water. I'm watching the two Z2s go crazy. Back and forth, forth and back, it does crazy stuff, so it's kind of fun to watch. And it keeps, keeps the interest of young people and people that haven't had a lot of experience fishing. And us guys that fish an awful lot, it's still a lot of fun. We're here in mid to late spring. It's a post-spawn bite, few fish still on the beds. A garden fry and this commotion that the donkey rig creates really gets those bass attention when they're guarding their fry. And plus it's a competition deal. You see those two things moving back and forth and it creates a lot of excitement a lot of the time. So that's why I like to fish this thing. It's just a blast. Not only is this a heck of a rig for largemouth, but smallmouth and spotted bass hate this thing in clear water. They'll come for miles to crush this thing. I love going to the Great Lakes. I love going to anywhere I've got gin clear water. In the Mid-South, out West, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Clear water's the key. They've got to be able to see this thing. It doesn't have any vibration. It's all visual. And with the Z2, it's made out of the Elastec material and it's real stretchy. The advantage that gives you over regular plastisol baits is that when I take a plastisol bait and do this, it immediately starts falling real fast to the bottom. This Elastec material makes it have a hesitation as it falls, and that's when they end up biting it most of the time is on that hesitation. The other really cool thing about this is it skips well. So you can skip it under boat docks, you can skip it under willow trees, you can skip it under pontoon boats, you can skip it as far as you want to. And that's where it really comes in handy, skipping it in the shade of something and then bringing it back out. And there you go, there's an explosion waiting to happen. Here he comes, trucking to the boat. Now, I'm not gonna get in a hurry to catch this one. You know why? I've got a second bait out there. Oop, did that one get it? I thought something ate it. Just let him run around a minute. That little guy's hooked. If you look, you can see there's another bait chasing him. Sometimes you'll get another one to eat that free bait. I don't see anybody down there right now, but that will happen in a little while, I bet you. Come on up here, big guy. Nice bass. Good little bass on the donkey rig. The rig consists of two liters, two swivels, two hooks. You can see I have a swivel here, a barrel swivel here, barrel swivel here. I pass the main line through my longer leader. You can see there's about three inches difference in the two baits. The longer leader needs to be on top so it slides up and down the rig. The shorter leader is the one I tie my main line to and tie my second hook to, and it's my straight line. But the longer leader needs to be in front. It gives the rig much better action. A lot of times when I first get out here, I'll have mixed match colors even. Something a little bit different, you know, kind of in a shad hue or a bluegill hue or whatever, but I'll have mixed match and you'll instantly see what their preference is. Then you can double up and be on the right color real quick. I've even taken a Strike King Zulu 
which floats and a Z2, and that keeps the bait real high in the water column. If I don't want it to go down at all, I'll take the two Zulus and put it on there, and I stay in the upper part of the water column. But I like the, the availability of this bait because I can do both of it and I can get it deeper. And it doesn't have to be utilized as a top water bait all the time like this. You can let that thing get down, let it get down out of sight. And you can fish it like a worm even. I mean, just twitch, twitch, just nice and slow. Get, get it down there in that eight to 10 feet range. Twitch, twitch. Keep it down there deep if you need to. We've got an inside grass line and an outside grass line in this lake. And those bigger females, that one got it out there deep. Are on that outside grass line, look at that. Better fish there. We may have just figured something out there for today to fish a little slower. We post spawn fish, beat up a little bit, fins are tired. She's just out there on that outside grass line, waiting to waiting to fatten back up. Black spots on her tail. That fish came from about eight feet of water. The earlier fish came shallow, shallow. See, so you're in the boat with the laziest guy on tour. I don't like to have to work hard for him. But let's try that again. Let's fish out here a little deeper. That was pretty. Got me hung up in something. Hung in that grass. Oh, that's a chunk right there, guys. That's a chunk chunk. Look at that big guy. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? She came up there on that flat. Oh, that's a close up. Golly. That's the kind we want to catch. Right there. Don't you do it, don't you do it, don't you do it. Gotcha. Looky there what I found. How about that? She ate my Z2. That was such a pretty bite. My goodness, come on out there. There we go. Now this is a pre-spawn fish. This fish hadn't finished spawning yet. That's a good, good, good one right there. Thick. You can see there's a little flat comes out here and she was up on top of it. Maybe a bed there, something. Tell you what, I'll take a couple of those in my next Elite Tournament. Like, share, and tag one of your buddies to be eligible for the gear giveaway. And all the gear you've seen today is available here at Tackle Warehouse.